there's new legal trouble for the world's richest man. Last week, we told you about Elon Musk giving away $1 million to registered voters in seven states, including North Carolina. But to be eligible, voters had to sign a petition on the website for Musk America PAC and pledge support for the First and Second Amendments. Well, a lot to break down here on this one. Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes joins us. Khalif, this lawsuit. It almost avoids the politics and instead calls this an illegal lottery system here. 100% illegal lottery is what they're alleging. I mean, this is, uh, uh, first of all, when I originally saw the, the offer, right, when I originally saw this, I was like, okay, this is funny. But then when I saw that they were going through with it, I thought it was just, you know, political speech and making comments, trying to draw attention to the campaign. But once I saw the first check to the first person, I said, okay, this is raising a lot of red flags. The Department of Justice said the exact same thing. You, this is something that you should not be doing specifically because it seems like you're attempting to pay people to register to vote and or pay people to vote. Great. The Department of Justice is involved in some capacity. He receives a letter. He stops at some point, but then the next day awards two more checks. On the state of Pennsylvania side, when I first saw this complaint, it was like, okay, what's happening right here? This is um, not a bringing criminal charges, but actually filing an injunction. This is a, a lawyer. Anybody could bring some type of injunction as long as you feel like you're harmed. So in this case, I was concerned or confused why it was being brought by the district attorney of the city of Philadelphia. But now it makes sense because originally the headline was like district attorney is attempting to stop Elon Musk from doing this. I thought it was him attempting to bring criminal charges, which I thought would have been something more like the attorney general of the state, you know, the Department of Justice on the federal side. But then when you get a chance to unpack it, they're saying, listen, we want a judge to stop him from doing this. But it, it, the, the, the state's attorneys general are not bringing this up here. Why is that? I think they'd have to fall tail in behind the Department of Justice. I mean, the Department of Justice outlines the federal charges that they think that he's violating uh, on the, the Pennsylvania attorney general side. I think that it would sweep under that same thing. But in terms of this injunction, this is, hey, I'm a person that's in this state. I believe that he's doing something that is causing irreparable harm. And the only way that it could be stopped because money can't fix this is that a judge force him to stop. On, on Elon Musk's side, he would come back and say, look, I'm not doing something wrong. The likelihood of them being successful on the merits is not going to happen. And because of that, that's the standard that the judge will have to make a determination. So after having an opportunity to at least read the complaint, now I can see that, yes, that was the right person to bring it. But my immediate response was, wow, this doesn't make any sense. But we're seeing some strange things as we come down the final stretch of this election. This is just one of them. And it's not just Musk. This PAC is also being sued. And so that PAC that has money to be able to give out a million plus plus per day to any type of voter that's out there in the state. The other allegation they said is that they haven't listed the rules. You didn't put the rules on this. So this is clearly, if it's a lottery, you have to outline the rules. So they alleged two violations of the state's law. You know, what are you going to do if you, if you violate the rule? Are you going to try to get the money back? <laughs> well, what I can say is I think that at this point he has unlimited resources, right? He's one of the richest people on the planet. And, so and he's putting he, the fingers on the scale right now. Right. And what he can say is, okay, you can sue me, but that lawsuit won't be resolved until after the election. And so while I would never want to encourage someone to subvert election rules or policies, what I do think he's saying is call my bluff. If you think I'm doing something that's illegal, a, you can get a judge to stop me. Now, and after that, now, and if he stops, the judge says there's an injunction you have to stop. And if they continue to do it then, then he'll have problems. And he, stopped, now you have he stopped after all the, uh, you know, talking about it. The DOJ and, and, threats. Yeah. But a judge's order is different. If a judge says you have to stop and you fail to stop, then there'll be big problems. All right. Something we'll keep following here with eight days to go to the election. All right, Khalif, thanks.